Reading Maps by Rolf Sandvold. Why do we need to read maps? What is a map? A map shows an area and some of its features or parts. You might use a map to find your way around a city. You could use a library map to find a special book. You might even use a map to find your favorite foods in a grocery store. A map can show a large area, so, such as a country or a continent. A map can show a small place, like your room. This caption says, look at North America from space. It looks like the map. Do you see the similarities between the outline of our continent, North America, and the outline or shape of the map? Maps can show the same place in different ways. That is because we use maps for different reasons. A map showing a playground at the park will look different than a street map of the same area. They have two different purposes. What maps do you know how to use? If you are not sure, then you will be by the end of this unit. Check out this photograph of a city called Seattle. This is the Space Needle. Can you find it on the map? This building is the Space Needle. We could see it in the photograph we just looked at on page five. This picture was taken close to the Space Needle. You can see more detail. How could you find this place if you visited Seattle? That is a city. You could find it, that's right, on a map. The Space Needle is on the top left corner of this map. The map shows the streets around the Space Needle. It shows a few other things you might want to see. The Space Needle looks different on a map. A symbol is a picture that represents something. The Space Needle symbol on the map is a circle. To find where the Space Needle is, we use this picture of just a blue circle to represent or stand for this Space Needle to help people find out how to go there and visit it. Different kinds of maps. We use different maps for different reasons. A map can show a country, a state, a city, or a part of a city. A map can help you get from one place to another. A map can even help you find your favorite roller coaster at an amusement park. Let's look at this amusement park map. Can you find the roller coaster on the amusement park map? Where you live, you might have a favorite place to play or meet your friends. A map would include the places that people would need to find it. In the map of the amusement park, you can find the roller coaster. In the street map of Seattle that you see here, a driver could find a street in the town. The streets are represented by these grayish blue lines and the red lines represent the highways. Both of these maps are very different. They both help you find places though. If you drew a map of your favorite place to play, what would you need to show?